Hello and welcome back to the channel. So when we talk about mafia, usually we think of big and famous organizations such as Cosa Nostra, the Ndrangheta or the Camorra and the Sacra Corona Unita. Now in reality, other groups of organized crime have come to exist in certain territories and they tend to be less well known by people as a whole, but remain nonetheless just as dangerous and ferocious as the most known mafias. An example of this is the Stida, formed because of an internal conflict within Cosa Nostra and which over the years has become a real centre of power linked to a specific Italian territory, namely the province of Agrigento, Ragusa and Caltanissetta. So let's discuss the origins of the name and the birth of the Stida. Well, it's not clear the exact period that saw the birth of the Stida, but we can say that it began to be heard of around the 1980s. So it's a rather recent organization that's defined by the media as the Fifth Mafia and that originated in the province of Agrigento. Now, the etymology of the name has different explanations. Stida means star, and according to the hypothesis of some researchers, it refers to the tattoo that the members of this group usually tattoo on themselves in prison. The members of this fifth mafia, in fact, often have a greenish symbol of a star between the index finger and thumb of the right hand. Another idea links the origin of the name to a religious theme, in particular to the Madonna della Stella, the Virgin Mary of the Star, patroness of the territory in which the group operates. The reasons that led to the birth of the organization were revealed in the late 1980s, in part by several turncoats, including Francesco Marino Manoia and Leonardo Messina. The formation of the Stida took place in Palma di Montechiaro, in the most rural areas of Agrigento. And for a certain period, it maintained a low profile, unlike the better known group called Cosa Nostra. Now, as most of you know, we have many videos on Cosa Nostra that you should definitely check out. The first members of the organization were mafia members put out of the circle of trust by Cosa Nostra. And this meant that in a certain sense, they'd been expelled from their clans for various reasons, such as disobedience, disapproval of the modalities brought by the Corleonesi, yeah, the guys led by Raina and Provenzano, and in some cases, developed relationships with police forces. Now, many members of the group were followers of the boss Giuseppe di Cristina, killed by the Corleonesi clan. Some notable members of this group that were still not homogenous and instead formed by many small gangs are Giuseppe Croce Benvenuto and Salvatore Calafato, who can be considered the founders of the organization. Both later became police informants. When they started the Stida, they had a different ideology from the one proposed by the recent Cosa Nostra, and together with the other Stidari, they were trying to impose themselves as territorial rivals of Cosa Nostra, that was by then mainstream in Sicily. The expansionist aims of the Fifth Mafia and the extremely violent actions that have characterized it since its origin finally led, led to a clash with Cosa Nostra that began in 1987, lasted five years and is remembered as the Jela feud. The Stida members, or Stidari, were led by Salvatore Iocalano, who wanted to challenge the power of the boss Giuseppe Pido Madonia, affiliated to the Sicilian Mafia. After the murder of some of Iocolano's followers, a real war began that led to the killing of 300 people in five years, some of whom were just innocent victims. The culmination of the feud occurred in November the 27th, 1990, when there were three contemporaneous ambushes that resulted in the killing of eight individuals and wounded 11 others. The event now remembered as the Massacre of Jela. When we think of how the Stida is organized, we note that the Stida has a slightly different organization compared to Cosa Nostra. It doesn't have a rigid structure like the larger and better known group, and it's more fragmented. In its early years, it was even formed by individual clans that acted rather independently. Originally, the groups were formed around very specific figures, namely the former men of honor of Cosa Nostra. Over the years, these structures changed and the Stida has adapted to new needs and ideologies. What is certainly an element of great difference between Stida and the Cosa Nostra is that the Stida has no problem admitting anyone into its ranks, since it has no precise criteria for becoming part of it. Another important difference that makes the Stida an organization far from Cosa Nostra is the structural formation of the group. In fact, at the beginning, it was a simple organization made up of allied clans and it it didn't have an articulated structure that allowed the infiltration into the places of power and the control of wider territories. 
Today, things have changed a bit and the group has more solid bases and is more numerous. The Stida is also structurally weaker than Cosa Nostra and doesn't have the same interests. That is, it doesn't currently try to silently insert itself into large sectors of the economy and national politics. And for this reason, it's more controllable by the state and justice system. Now, this doesn't mean that it should be underestimated because it is very strongly rooted in its chosen territory, and that is part of the southern coast of Sicily. And its modus operandi is much fiercer and violent than many other mafias. The control of a territory in Sicily that was not under the full control of Cosa Nostra, the ability to be versatile and change, even forming alliances with other mafias, and the free and terrifying methods make this organisation extremely dangerous and unpredictable. In terms of economic operations, the Fifth Mafia is more interested in drug dealing, extortion and infiltration into local politics. The changes of recent years have led to the consolidation of the group, which now has a more vertical structure and treats internal alliances as more solid and important. Moreover, the occupied territory is no longer restricted to Sicily, but also some areas of northern Italy that have been touched by this organisation. The Stida is a relatively recent mafia, but it has strong and powerful ranks and is able to more quickly adapt to change and turn situations to its advantage. The lack of hesitation and ruthlessness allow it to bring its members to reach the pinnacle of a criminal career quickly and without too many hiccups. And this is what makes this group, born in rural areas of the province of Agrigento, so utterly dangerous. Interesting stuff. But there you have it. We hope you enjoyed the video. There's lots more coming as well, so do keep tuned. And of course, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. So until next time, ciao.